Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here. Today's video, I want to share with you my top five favorite games that I played in 2020. Now what I mean by that is these games didn't necessarily come out in 2020. These are just games that I played in 2020. In 2020, I actually played more games this year than I have in previous years, mainly because of the COVID situation, having a little bit more time at home. It was pretty tough to pick just five games, but I picked five games that I would recommend to anybody and five games that I really did truly enjoy. All right, with that out of the way, let's take a look at my top five favorite games I played in 2020. Number five. Number five is The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive Series. It may not be a big surprise to my longtime followers on the channel, but I absolutely love the Telltale Walking Dead series. I actually played through every Walking Dead game before this came out, so season one, two, and three. And once those were completed, I was patiently waiting season four. A lot of time passed and it never happened. It turns out that the company Telltale went out. They were gone. They fired all their employees and they shut down. And my immediate thought was, oh man, we're never going to get to finish The Walking Dead. What happened to Clementine? It was terrible. I was so sad and really bummed out that I'd never get to finish the series and find out what happened with Clementine. After hearing that bad news, a lot of time passed and I just had given up hope. And then I heard that Skybound Games was actually picking up the series and going to finish it. I was beyond ecstatic. After all that was said and done, and Skybound Games completed the final chapter, they released The Walking Dead, the Telltale Definitive Series, and I played through the entire thing in 2020. Number 4 Number 4 is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Honestly, who didn't play this in 2020? I absolutely loved Animal Crossing on the GameCube. I was one of the original players of that. I got it when it launched. I played the DS ones and a little bit of City Folk on the Wii. I completely avoided Amiibo Festival, but I was actually excited when they announced Animal Crossing New Horizons. I had been out of Animal Crossing for quite some time, and I was really looking forward to it because it was a great game that I could play with my kids. So when it launched, we actually ended up picking up three copies of this game, one for myself and my two kids, and throughout 2020, we played this game and had a lot of fun with it. This is by far the best Animal Crossing they've ever released. There's just so much to do. It really connects to people near and far. It's a lot of fun and I highly recommend you check it out. This is definitely a great little package and I highly recommend it. And yes, this is one of my favorite games I played in 2020. Number three. Number three is the Destroy All Humans remake. When they announced this game, I was like, what, really? This was kind of a hidden gem on the Xbox. I was the only person that I knew that played it, so I was really shocked when they announced that they were remaking Destroy All Humans. But don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely in love with this remake. It has the same original charm as it did before, but it just looks so good. I had a ton of fun playing this game. It's old, but it's new, if you know what I mean. It's just so much fun, sucking the brains out of guys. It's just a blast. It's just stupid fun. And I really love this remake. That's why it's my number three on this list. Number two. This one's an older game. It came out in 2018, but it's Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is one of my favorite games of all time. And the DLC characters keep coming out and it keeps it fresh. Now that we have Banjo, Terry, Steve, Sethroff... All these new awesome characters just keep it fresh and I find myself coming back to this game over and over and over having smash nights playing with my friends playing with my kids playing online it's just endless fun I absolutely love Smash Bros Ultimate I can't wait for the last few DLC characters to come I really hope they support the game after the DLC is announced maybe a Challenger Pack 3 hint hint I'd really like that but yeah this is number two because I'm having so much fun with Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's two years old and it's still so fun. Now, before we get to number one, I have a few honorable mentions. The Walking Dead Saint and Sinners for PS4 VR. This game was a lot of fun. I love zombies and The Walking Dead. It's a really awesome zombie game. It's definitely the best VR zombie game I've ever played. Disaster Report 4 Summer Memories. 
I beat and really enjoyed Disaster Report for the PS2. I found it in a bargain bin at Walmart and I beat it way back then. And when I found out there was a fourth one, I was super excited. I didn't even know there was four. I really enjoyed Disaster Report 4, especially with the VR mode included for the PS4. That's definitely an honorable mention. Resident Evil 2 Remake. What a great game. This game almost made the list. I really enjoyed Resident Evil 2 Remake. It was a beautiful looking game. So much fun. I loved Resident Evil 2, or the original. It was my favorite Resident Evil. I like how you're in the city. But yeah, definitely have to give a shout out to Resident Evil 2 Remake. Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Three awesome classic Mario games all in one package. Tons of fun. Really enjoyed playing these again. Definitely an honorable mention. Detroit Become Human. My friend White Noise suggested this game to me. I was shocked at how hooked I was on this game. I enjoyed every minute of it. It was a really awesome game, and that's why it's an honorable mention. Star Wars Squadrons for PlayStation VR. This game in VR is a Star Wars dream come true. I loved playing the Rogue Squadron games for the GameCube. I thought those graphics were amazing. I always wished I could be in one of the ships and fly around. Well, I got to do this in Squadrons, and I really enjoyed it. Really, really awesome game. Last honorable mention, which I didn't really want to put on here, but I did enjoy most of it, and that's The Last of Us Part 2. Honestly, I enjoyed the Ellie parts. I had a lot of fun with it. The gameplay was excellent. It felt like the first one. But the Abby parts, it just felt like a chore. Maybe it's because I hated Abby or what she did. But yeah, I had to mention it because for the most part, I enjoyed the game. So here it is. Honorable mention. Number one. Days Gone. Well, no surprise here. I actually pre-ordered Days Gone when it first came out. And it sat on the shelf sealed for a little while. Well, I eventually did open it up and play it, but I only played for a few hours and then I quit. I don't even know why. I think maybe I had zombie burnout because I had just beaten The Last of Us Part 1, Dying Light, and State of Decay 2. And then one day, I had some extra time and I was looking at it and I said, you know what, let's pop it in, let's give it another go. I heard the reviews were kind of bad and I was surprised. An open world zombie game, how could that be bad? Deciding to put Days Gone in my PS4 that day was one of the best gaming decisions I've made in a very long time. I had no idea what was coming, what was laying in wait for me with Days Gone. I feel like a fool for uh, ignoring this game and not playing it sooner. There are a lot of games out there in the world, thousands of games you can play. Very seldomly does a game affect me like Days Gone did. Days Gone was an emotional roller coaster. Just such an absolutely amazing story. The gameplay is fantastic. The graphics are great. I can't say enough good things about Days Gone. With your gaming, you get these games that just hit you in the right spot. They just hook you. They, they change who you are. And Days Gone did that for me. I feel like I evolved after I played Days Gone. It's been so long since the game had me that hooked. I beat Days Gone. And then I beat it again, and then I beat it a third time, all in a row. I could not get enough of this game. I could ramble on and on and on about Days Gone, but you know what? Just play it. You owe it to yourself. You have no idea what lays in wait with this game. Days Gone taught me something. Never, ever listen to the reviews. Because, you know, Days Gone had some bad reviews, but you know what I say to those reviewers? You didn't give it a chance. No, you didn't. Yeah, the, the beginning is definitely slow. They're just building you up. They're getting you into the story. They are setting you up for an amazing adventure. I can honestly say Days Gone is a game that I will remember for the rest of my life. That's how amazing this game is. It's going down as one of my favorite games of all time at this point. I'm actually missing this game and I want to do a fourth playthrough. I really, really hope they make a sequel someday because Days Gone is just phenomenal. Okay, sorry everybody. When I talk about Days Gone, I just can't stop. So, yes, Days Gone is my number one favorite game I played in 2020. So that's it. That's my top five favorite games I played in 2020. What are your favorite games you played in 2020? Be sure to let everyone know in the comments below. Thanks everybody for hanging out for this top five list. This is actually my first video of 2021. 
I hope everyone had a great holiday and I want to say Happy New Year. I wish you all the best in 2021. All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am the console collector. I want to thank everybody for watching. And until the next video, happy gaming.